Hey, how you doing? Uh, today is the 8th, I believe, uh, Thursday. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Um, it is um, March. No, April. Holy crap. Um, the days, the days go by. Is it morning or night? Um, anyway, uh, I, I just woke up from a nap. Uh, old guys like me uh, need that uh, every so often. And I didn't even have any alcohol for lunch. So you can't blame that. Uh, what I have for lunch, you ask? I had a breakfast burrito. <laughs> Why? Because I skipped breakfast. Um... I got up and listened to the Stephanie Miller show and other crap. Totally forgot uh, that it was time to go for the food pickup. Uh, then I had to go buy uh, some stuff for uh, my granddaughter's birthday this Saturday. So I went to Oshkosh Bagosh, an, un, un, an unpaid advertisement for that fine institution. So here we are, a minute 30 in, and I haven't talked about comics. It's the stuff that I picked up at um, uh, Torpedo Comics in Orange and Nuclear Comics in Laguna Hills. Thanks, Kenny. Um, and I'm not even going to in, go into um, the new distribution thing. It's way over my head. Um, and I was talking to... Uh, Kenny a little bit about it and he said it is it is confusing he said basically what you're doing is you're replacing one uh, one monopoly um, with another because uh, we look at uh, Penguin uh, Hopper Penguin Hopper uh, Penguin Random House right and they're taking over the distribution from uh, from Marvel, um, which takes it from from Diamond, and apparently a lot of companies haven't resigned uh, with with Diamond. Uh, they're just working under their old contract. So some folks are speculating that some of the, the other are bigger. Companies, Image, uh, Dark Horse, Boom. I think those are the other. Th those are the other big three uh, publishers out there. Uh, maybe moving as well. Uh, so, uh, anyways, let's. Again, this is stuff all over my head. Uh, I'm, I'm sure some of you understand it much more than I do. Uh, my concern is that this move is going to affect, uh, it's going to hit the, the smaller publishers and uh, those self-publishing creators more than anything else. Because uh, uh, Penguin, or P PRH, uh, which is also looking to buy Simon & Schuster, is they're going to be the new monopoly Diamond is going to only have the very small publishers. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's try to get through this again. Um, this is King in Black number five. And uh, this is, you see the big interiors of promotion for this Heroes Reborn. Uh, uh, thing, which is, I guess, another Marvel event that's going on. King in the Black is almost done. But anyways, this is a, this appears to be a double-sized uh, issue. Uh, I think. Yep. Um, anyways, which is going to continue in Venom 200. Which is not actually two hundred. Uh, 
But if if every my understanding is if every Venom series had going along every you know miniseries and everything, there would be two hundred issues of Venom. So we're good, they're gonna call it uh, Venom two hundred. Um, okay, and we got Rick and Morty Worlds Apart number three. And uh, some of you may see the, uh, have seen the trailer for the new season, season five, I think, which I'm psyched about. We had Animal, from the Young Animal imprint, uh, and probably the last of the Young Animal imprints, we have Far Sector, uh, number 11. So I believe there's one issue left. Uh, we got, uh, which is, I think, uh, except for the, um, Sandman Lock and Key crossover. I believe that the Dreaming is the last of the uh, uh, Sandman Universe books that we'll be seeing. This is issue number nine. Uh, we got the Sumerian, which is um, a Blaze uh, doing the um, Robert E. Howard stories. Uh, but they can't use uh, Conan. They can use his likeness, but they can't use uh, the character's name on the cover. And uh, I'm not I'm not reading the Marvel books, uh, to be honest. I really like what they're doing um, with these. And as I said before, uh, they tell the story in graphic novel uh, fashion, and then at the end, they have, you, they have the actual text from Howard's stories. Really good. Uh, we have uh, Hollow Heart, number two. Really uh, good um, sci-fi uh, story about uh, the friendship, the loneliness, and uh, trying to find someone. Uh, we have the Department of Truth, number seven. And I always love these covers. There are always a lot of, like, photo stuff and collages and... Always very intriguing. We got Vampire the Masquerade number seven. And not your an odd vampire, but not not the twinkly kind <laughs> by any means. And he's really not going to high school. We got the Mortal Hulk number 45. Love that cover. So cool. Uh, Hulk is losing his powers. Um, and I believe there is five more issues left. Number 50, I think, is the last issue. Um, well, fortunately, uh, Game of Force uh, are going to be splitting off into their own series. I don't know if it's a continuing series or a mini-series, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, then we have also King in Black. We have Venom number 34. <coughs> Venom no more. No. That's not, that's, that's not the title. It's just reminiscent of Peter Parker turning his back, right? That's cool. Um... The latest Beasts of Burden, a miniseries, is by Evan Dorkin. Um, this, the art in here is Sarah Dyer. He's also worked with Jill Thompson and other artists. Uh, this is called Occupied Territory, number one. Uh, if you're not familiar with Beasts of Burden, they're um, animals who are protectors of the town and their owners from the, the uh, supernatural. And uh, it's really good they can communicate with each other. They can't communicate with humans. Uh, they're very intelligent. Um, but uh, characters can die. Uh, so, uh, you know, if, if, if the death of animals uh, affects you, just as this, like, the book Animosity, if that bothers you, uh, be forewarned. That uh, I haven't read this issue yet, but this does happen in these stories. And finally, we have uh, book three, 
the other history of the DC Universe. Uh, we've already seen uh, issue one, which dealt with Jefferson Pierce of the Black Lightning. Uh, the second one dealt with uh, uh, Mal, the character uh, who went under various names, the Guardian, uh, Hornblower, and I think some others. Uh, uh, back in uh, one of the early in, uh, uh, Teen Titans um, incarnations, and it's quite good. And also um, the character Bumblebee, who appeared in a few issues of, of Teen Titans, talks about their relationship, how they've gone, and uh, they're probably honest that Teen Titans come off as, as jerks. Uh, um, it is interesting, uh, as I said, looking at it from their perspective as opposed to, you know, uh, a Titan's perspective on things. It's, it's really good, uh, something to look into. And this is, uh, I recognize, uh, this is written by uh, uh, John Ridley. This, that's a katana who, um, the soul, the, the thought she has um, contains uh, the souls of those she kills with the sword, including uh, that of her husband. Um, and I think we deal with this. Again, the, the other history of the DC Universe is really good. Uh, looking at, you know, uh, basically the, the, the heroes from, um, who are mostly white, of course, and looking at them from the perspective of uh, minority uh, characters and how they viewed the same things, uh, you know, from a different perspective. I've gone on way too long. I apologize. Um, hope you're watching uh, Falcon, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, it's really good. Hope you saw the trailer for Loki. Um, I can't see myself spending 30 bucks for, um, uh, to see Black Widow. Um, but, uh, we'll think about it. I, I, I mentioned last week that I saw, um, King Kong versus Godzilla. Oh, man, that was so good. Um, that's on HBO Max. What else is going on? I think that's it. I'm sure as soon as I, I shut this off, and I've gone out way too long, I apologize. Uh, I appreciate it if you stuck around for this whole thing. Take care of yourself. Get vaccinated. There really is... Uh, the only excuse you have is trying to get an appointment. Uh, keep at it. Get those vaccinations, whether you get whatever vaccine you get. Uh, whether you have to get, go for two shots or one shot, uh, do it. I'm glad I did. I'm able, I, I feel more comfortable going out now. Um, and uh, wear your mask when you go out. Do that social distancing. Don't be one of those people who are going to drag us into the next wave. Because it would be nice to start getting together again, right? So this is it for me. Way too long. Way unnecessary. Peace out and take care.